So I'll, when they're um, identifying each count, they do one parentheses or bullet or something and then give the explanation. Where do they, would you say they uh, attach this uh, using the MCO 25, um, the, the attachment form? I usually just or, use a plating form like on Microsoft Word or whatever word processor people are using because it just seems to be easier. Um, the MC030 or the MC031 is great if you only have to do one page. If you've got to do 10 pages of stuff, you know, the, the forms don't exactly flow together and it becomes kind of tedious to, to get everything right. And then when you go back and read it and you go, oh, I forgot a paragraph. And so you just want to make it as readable as you can for the judge so that it, it makes sense what you're talking about. And, you know, if you can fit it on one page, great. Use the MC031. I'm trying to think if we have, um, you know, pleading paper is, that's not something most people have or know how to find, I think. I, I think in, if you go to our, our family law course on mycorecoach.com, I think there's, um, I think we have a template pleading, just a blank pleading paper, I think. Um, I'll share this, this with you, those who are watching. If you go to uh, the channel page for my core coach of the, the YouTube channel, and you go to the search, if you just put in one of these, you can put any term you like, and if we have a video on it, uh, you'll see that video. So here's, if you put in MC-030, uh, you see what, what Chris was talking about just now. And if you just Google for Microsoft Word pleading paper, um, there actually is a template for Office. Oh, great. So if, if that's easier for a person, if not, use the other form. Whatever Whatever's easier for you. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, I think that answers that question.